Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Wednesday, June the 7th, just down at Toronto Harbour Front here. It's, uh, it's a nice day, but the uh, air is quite smoking. We've got a fires uh, all under control here in Canada, in uh, Nova Scotia, Quebec, and Ontario, and all over the place. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the, uh, you know, they can put them out. So today what I'm looking at is, uh, I'm looking at Marine Scanner using the RTL on GNU radio. There's uh, my RTL over there, and I just got a simple whip antenna. And uh, we're gonna go over to um, Camtasia, and I'll show you the details of the program. Works pretty well. Okay, so here we're looking at the code for the uh, Marine Sweeper module. These modules here on the top are just my standard uh, narrowband FM receiver that I've used in many, many posts. The only th changes I've made are the following. Um, instead of a QT GUI range variable, I've got a variable here just FC, but instead of a value here, I'm defining a um, Python module. And uh, we'll see that in a minute in the Python code. So the Python module will step the frequency and it has an argument here of function probe number one. Um, down here, down here in previous videos, I've talked about um, having a threshold to turn on, a, a, for instance, an LED on an R, Raspberry Pi, but here I've got a threshold module, so I'm measuring the power uh, out of the low-pass filter, and then I'm going into a threshold. You can set these uh, limits depending on your environment. So normally the threshold is zero. So basically what happens here is I've got what's called a probe signal, and the probe signal is gonna measure the level at the threshold, and if that level is zero, then I'm gonna step the frequency. Now. When I'm on a, a signal, this threshold goes to one, and what will happen is the probe signal is being sent to um, the uh, Python module here, which feeds the FC. So when this thing goes to one, the Python module will, will stop. So let's look at the Python code here. Incidentally, the probe signal is used in conjunction with the function probe. So in the function probe, you give it the name of the probe signal, and you tell it that you want to measure level. And you can also adjust the uh, the rate at which you're going to be uh, uh, sampling this thing. So let's look at the Python module. Okay, so there's the um, some comments there. F1 is the start frequency, F2 is the stop frequency, and the step is you can go in 25 kilohertz or 50 kilohertz or 100 kilohertz. For simplicity, I know that there's a strong signal at 162.4, which is Toronto Marine Weather, so I'm starting at 161 and ending at 163. So basically what happens is your input from your probe comes here. And normally this is zero unless you're on uh, a strong station, in which case it'll be one. So I'm saying if this is equal to zero, then step the frequency. Otherwise, if it's not zero, if it's one, then go down to here, check if F is greater than F2, if not, start again. So that's basically the code for the Python module. So then just to reiterate, these, these modules here, the probe signal, the function probe, and the Python module will step the frequency of the variable FC. So let's see what happens here. We'll start scanning. I'm scanning right now at, uh, let's see, where are we here? Um, at two, two scans per second. So let's just see here. We can see it's moving here. There's marine weather at 162.4. So now we're locked on marine weather and you can see the threshold has gone to 1 and that stops the scanning function. Leur avancée de l'Est. Fumée, 20 degrés Celsius. Conditions pour l'aéroport de ST4 dans le district.